Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60 and I want to welcome you here today. This is just going to be some chit chat and I want to announce the winners, winners of last week's giveaway. I hurt my back a few days ago and I have been kind of just inching along. I did something really stupid. I knew it was stupid when I was doing it. But I have heavy cast iron cookware. A lot of it was my grandmother's who, I think she started housekeeping in 1907. And it, it's heavy. <laughs> well, I had cooked a pot roast and I was, the, the pan, the, the pot was dry and I was gonna put it up. And the first stupid thing, and I mean, it really is stupid. I had my cast iron on the second to the lowest shelf in my small pantry. First mistake, but that's how it's always been. And anyway, I had it, it has a head up, it has a handle, and I bent over with the pot away from me and slid it in. And the minute I did it, my back just went out. Didn't have to go to the doctor. I know how to take care of myself and I am getting better every day. But I tell you what, it sure made me appreciate the days when my back wasn't hurting. It really did. I thought, you know, we are still quarantined. And today is Wednesday, the 13th of May. So you'll be seeing this next Sunday. And, you know, I mean, Mother's Day came and went. And, of course, I got to talk to both of my children. But I haven't gotten to hug my children, my grandchildren. I haven't got been able to see my sister who always has coffee with me every Wednesday and it's just kind of been a challenge but I tell you what since I hurt my back I'm thinking oh look at all the things I could be doing if I hadn't hurt my back that's my story anyway so today I am wearing my quarantine makeup it is mascara navy eyeliner in my upper waterline some powder I think it was the Celebration Foundation and blush and lip gloss. But I wanna talk about something that goes on your body. I do not like lotions. I just don't. And so therefore, I don't really like self-tanning. And the first thing I wanna show you, both these items I've had, the, the newest is I've had one for a year and the other has been several years ago. But the reason I'm talking about it is because Tarte brought out something very similar to this. This is a Tarte bronzer I purchased before I started YouTube. And it's packaged like this. It did not have any claims that it was waterproof. And here is the product right here. It came with a powder puff and also a body brush. And I'm gonna apply this to my hand. What I do when like right now, there's no use for me to bronze my body. I'm when I'm home, but when I want to go someplace, I like my. If I'm wearing a dress, I like my the bottom of my legs and my feet to be bronzed. I like my neck to be bronzed. I put bronzer on my face, but I didn't today. And my hands, and this will be a little bit tricky this year because I might have to carry it with me because. Prior to this, a lot of times I would just wash my fingertips because that's the thing that got dirty. So, you know, I felt like I was pretty clean. But I want to put this on my hand and show you what it does. I'm just going to dab this in the bronzer and apply it to my hand. And you can, after you have it on, you just kind of buff it in. And I wore this, so you can see the difference right there. I've worn this for years and it has never, ever, ever rubbed off on anything. And it doesn't, and the claim was not to be waterproof. So I'm really, I'm thinking about ordering, I'm thinking about ordering the, the new one. But here's my tanned hand. And what I got last year was from Laura Geller and I really like it. Both of these are for body and for face. Laura Geller's is, has a lot bigger pan and it's also domed, but I'm going to use, and Laura Geller's only came with a puff. So I'm going to use it with the puff, but what I have done, like last year, I used it with that body brush, but I'm going to just get some on my puff 
and apply it to my hands. And it really does give a very, very pretty glow. And there that is. I don't know if I got it all over. But for me, that's a very quick way to get a bronze look. A lot of times I'll just do it on my arms and my decollete and the bottom of my legs. And I've been real pleased with them. I don't know if either of these, I know what I have. I know the original tart is not available because I tried to order it several years ago. And that's when I found out that Amazon, when they have discontinued products, somebody buys them and I wanted this and it was like a hundred and thirty some dollars and I could not believe that something that I know I probably paid less than forty dollars for would be on Amazon for a hundred and thirty five or forty dollars. I remember talking about it in a video many years ago but for me this is the way to go. So I'm wondering if any of you have tried the waterproof. This one did not get on my clothing at one time I had a white pair of slacks on that touched my feet and I didn't even get any brown around the hem of my pants. And of course when I, you take a bath it's gone but when, but for me it is just so easy, temporary and I get the look that I want and you know me it's, it's got to be pretty easy. So I just thought I'd mention those to you. And I just keep mine in a in a drawer. I have this bag and I put this in it. This. The puff. And then that. And I know exactly where to go when I want to have a little bit of a tan without putting the body lotion on. I know a lot of people enjoy lotions. They enjoy getting a tan all over. But, you know, I'm a slacker. <laughs> and this works with my slacker lifestyle very, very well. If I can find these, I will link them below. But if anybody's had any experience with either one of these, please let me know because I've been really pleased with them. The last time I went to the salon to get my hair trimmed and colored was the end of January. And this is how much silver I have. When she checked my hair in January, she said I was like maybe 15% silver and uh, it'd be a long time because I, I want silver hair like glitzy fritzy. That's my goal, but it's, I may have to be really, really old when I get it. But I haven't, I haven't touched it up. It doesn't look bad, but I have trimmed my hair. And my hair is all one length, so it's pretty easy. I can just section it like this and go like that and trim it. And I've always trimmed my bangs. So probably sometime in June, I'll probably get my hair highlighted and trimmed. But before I got my hair cut short, which was probably three years ago, I, I had short hair for a couple of years and I always colored my hair prior to that and I disliked doing it every time I did it. I did not enjoy it. It was just like I'd put it off and put it off and put it off. So after I had my hair cut short, my stylist of 30 years started um, coloring my hair every three months. This is going to be a short video and 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 now I want to announce the winners of last week's giveaway. It was from Timeless. They provided it and they will be sending these gifts out to you. It was their Mother's Day box and I'll put a picture of it in here. And the first name that I drew out did not want to be entered. But she has been a viewer of mine since the very beginning, and it is Mrs. Loretta. So, Mrs. Loretta, had you wanted to be entered, your your name was the first one that popped up this morning from the Random Comment Picker website. The next name that came up was Terry Lanier. Terry, congratulations. Uh, make sure you leave a comment below. And then I hit the little button to do it again. And the next person that came up was Gloria P. Congratulations, Gloria. All you need to do is leave a comment below and I will email you what I need from you so I can send it on to Timeless Skin Care. I want to thank Timeless for providing these. They, they've always been so good to me when I've wanted to do a giveaway. It is all good, and I hope I will see you next week. I'm getting better every day. I do know the tips and the tricks of getting your back in better 
shape and, and I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to remember my good body mechanics. It is all good. I want to thank you all for being here and I appreciate you more than you know. No, you'll never know how much I appreciate you. Thank you for everything and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Heavy. <laughs> Well, I had cooked a pot roast, and I was the the pan the, the. I may have to be really, really old when I get it. So I will probably thirty years started, um, and I know all the ticks trip. I do know that ticks 